That's gone right. Right, uh, hold on, because I wanted to read the first wee bit, right, to give some fucking context to what we're talking about. Right. I was saying a wee about coming around and how I've been doing this, um, and she was like, I find something to. Oh, is this not actually working? Can I not? Yeah, just go for there again, huh? Right, let's see if that's working now. Yeah, right, you give some context to it. Anyway, um, aye, Lee was saying to find something to fucking talk about, right? So, um, I was like, we'll definitely be someone clicked on the phone, and because I think, like, when you bring up Chrome now, it, you kind of it gets your, uh, gives you news things and whatever comes up. I think it's, like, more tailored to your subscriptions or whatever now. So I was like, definitely be able to find something to talk about, and then I saw this, and I was like, so you've got something to talk about already, but I was like, you're coming up, so I'm going to play on about this. Right. NASA renamed Solar System Object, previously known as Ult Ultima Thule, to Arakoth after Nazi controversy. The new name pays tribute to... <laughs> hmm. The new name pays tribute to indigenous people, and avoids associations with the alt-right. NASA's renamed a distant space rock after a controversy over the old name's Nazi connections. The object was previously known as Ultima Thule. That name was chosen to mean something like farthest place. I love that fucking, um, what, what's it called? Um, what, what are the folk at the newspaper called? Reporters, what are mm. they doing when they're... Journalism. Journalism, I love that journalism. Uh, it's something like, I mean, I literally found out more about this in two fucking minutes. Mm. You can't tell I'm going manage to make this whole fucking rant about what I'm about to fucking make, make a mountain out of a molehill, eh? But like, why no? Um, but immediately attracted controversy because Thule is a word that has been associated with the Nazis in the past. Right, I'll stop there because there's only, you know, the two other bits I want to read after that, but up to that bit, right? Mm. It's been associated with the Nazis in the past, so they have changed the name to Arakoth from uh, Altma Thule, right? Just that in its saying. Have you got any thoughts on that? <clears throat> well, at first, when you first said that this was going to be the subject, I was sort of indifferent because all that I was led to know about the whole thing was that um, it was going to be a discussion about a renaming of something because of Nazi connotations. Now obviously they've already done all that with the German Shepherd slash Alsatian and I'm sick of hearing about it so I was sort of like meh. But after reading some more about it, this is ridiculous. Go for it then. Just the, the bit about the Nazi, because what, what, when, when you hear that, right, that they're changing it because mm -hmm. it's got Nazi connections, what's the first thing that you think? Because me, I'm like, well, how? Right? Mm. Like, um, so what was it? Ultima Thule, right? So the word Thule is like, got Nazi connotations, so it's like, right, I need to fucking find out why, right? Yep. So and I have since done my reading as well, and I, right? I know a little bit of background about this. Right. So, Thule is literally the most northern locate, like back in the, as far back as like the lower right. it goes, right? Ancient Greek and Roman literature. Mm -hmm. The Thule is the most northern location in their world, right? And then Ultima Thule um, is Latin for farthest most Thule, so the farthest most fucking place in the world. And it ended up meaning something along the lines of beyond borders of the known world, right? Um, did you did you did you read about that? Did you read that mm -hmm. bit? Yeah. Yep. Did you read where it came from? Who the first person was to write about it? Yes. Aye. Well, it's what is in the the whole like just mythology where the, of yeah, just where the initial mythology of the, the word comes from. Because like if they're saying it's got Nazi fucking connections, right? Yeah. You have to. It's like, well, does it or is it? Does it not? Yeah. Because like, well, it's like the swastika all over again. Right. Uh, totally. Right. Um, it's like like where do you fucking stop? I'm sure the Nazis like eating fucking donuts. Ice cream. Ice cream. Right. I mean, Hitler loved art. Are we are we going to ban all art now because it's got Nazi connotations? Well, I apparently. Mm. Right, so a Greek explorer called Pythias first wrote about Thule, mm. or Altma Thule or whatever, in 330 to 320 BC. Right, so it could have connections to a lot of fucking things, right? It's like the Nazis was whatever, 70 years ago, and part of it, they, they took 
part of this world, right? So, did you read about the Thule Society, which, yes. which was the Nazis, yeah? yeah? Ethnic nationalist group, what was it, German Workers' Party, that ended up being reorganised by Hitler. Yes, but did you see when it was reorganised by Hitler? No, I never actually. Uh, 1919. Right. He wasn't made Chancellor until 1933. 1919 was straight after World War One. Uh, there was a couple of early Nazi sympathisers that... Oh, that's that's funny. So even in the context of things, like this was a thing before the Nazi yes. party was a thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. Like, it's like, does that mean that everything that someone bad touches, then it, it's fucking done? Especially when you can actually look back at this as a... As, Actually, it, it's just a, a bad group of people that have taken part of a word, but it, it's nothing to do with fucking them. Mm -hmm. So when you look at where it came from, this Pythias, the Greek explorer, right? There's stuff in his story about travelling the whole of Britain, they reckon he exaggerated it, and some modern, um, modern takes on the story, uh, is that like Thule and Nylons and that are like Orkney and Shetland and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know? Uh, Norway uh, and Iceland as well. Yeah, yeah, that far. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, I think it's just fucking strange that they can say that because a certain group that has a, a, a direct Kevin Bacon with the Nazis, because the guy that reorganised <laughs> it then went on to do this, yeah. right? Because they used this word <clears throat> that references potentially real, well, definite, it potentially references places that are known to exist in a, in a like, uh, works and writings for two fucking centuries ago. So if it's got, you know, like, when they say it's got, like, a connection to that, it's, it's got connections to a lot more than fucking that. Mm. But then, it's like, well, where else do you see Symbol how 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 much more did you look at this? I'll let you talk for a well, bit. Well, I've got this whole A4 bit of paper here. Ta-da! Yeah, <laughs> go for it. Like, some of your thoughts on it, because initially it's just like, um, it just reminds me of, like, the, the sort of idea of, whatever, say, free speech or <coughs> just language and stuff again. Yeah. Um, because, like, this idea that it's, oh, it's offensive. Offensive is entirely subjective. Everything and nothing is offensive. Yeah. And it's entirely to do with, like, how sensitive you are, which is why I would say that, like, someone can be insensitive. But then, in that sense, the idea of this word being insensitive and therefore potentially offensive to someone is just because they're letting one fucking dude that ended up with Kevin Bacon to the Nazis, like, that came after it, yeah. they're given that, like, more fucking credence and everything, and there's a lot of fucking history involved in it, between the fucking Greeks, the Romans, you know, all that fucking travel and such, yep. and it just, it's just strange. I'm gonna make a mountain of mole holiday, just because I managed to, I, I, went, I went fucking crazy on the thought of it, because then I've got, like, more to say about, like, just the idea of, um, or oh, you can't use that word because it's got a connection to the Nazi, but there's fucking... I'll let you finish before I'll make my crazy connection. Well, and then I need to go further because there's another part of this story in the, the paper that I can't bring because it's too much. I see, need to discuss this initial part first. Yes, because I never even got anywhere near close to reading any part of the article. All I got as far as Space Rock, Ultima Thule, Farthest Place, Nazi Connotations, Thule Society, and then a whole A4 page yeah. of that. See, it's crazy not just because, like, literally the meaning of the word, it's so fucking stupid as a Nazi to- what, what's it going to do? Like, it would make sense that the theory could be that Shetland and Orkney, because to the Roman Empire, they never got up here. The Romans wouldn't have fucking- they'd not been up here. So it was like the furthest known fucking lands, and if they had a guy, uh, or a yeah, Greek fucking traveller that the work got passed on to or in that time or whatever, you know, like, then... Well, that's not really the issue, I suppose. No, no, it isn't it? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just on about that there's a lot of fucking stuff in it to then just make it all about this one thing. And, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, um, it's like the whole fucking wee town with a name. It's like, d I don't know, denying a At least it makes logical sense as a NASA name is what I mean. It's like when Newt Scott says solar system, it makes sense for it to be called that because the Latin term is the furthest most. It makes sense. As in that, it's fucking nothing to do with the fucking Nazis, is what I mean. It's yeah. nothing to do with fucking anything, it's so well, stupid. Well, we've already established yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, well done. Right, so the Thule Society <laughs> was originally the 
Studiengruppe für Germanisch Altertum, which is the study group for um, antiquities, and it was founded right after World War I. And it was later reorganized by Hitler into the National Society, uh, the National Socialist German Workers' Party, i.e. the Nazi Party. Um, so the membership consisted of many German leaders and early Nazi sympathizers and their, like, one of their big main interests and everything and things that they chatted about in their little, like, bloody Mason cult group <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, was, <coughs> you know, they were just interested in racial theory and uh, combating Jews and communists and stuff because there was, like, the uh, communist, they were awfully right-wing and there was communist um, Russia? Aye, but in Munich as well. Yeah. Um, you know, so within Germany itself there was the communist groups as well. Um, so in 1919 they were accused of trying to infiltrate the government and creating a coup. Uh, and they tried to kidnap the bloody... Uh, what's it called? Prime Minister, German oh, Prime Minister. The Chancellor or something, is that what they call it? Is that what Hitler was, wasn't he? Aye, ah, he, he became he became like the Chancellor in thirty three though. Uh, no, I don't yeah, think so. No. Nah, no. Th there'll be different things. Um, so much I fucking know about politics there. Eh? But in nineteen nineteen, after all that uh, controversy, Hitler reorganized it all. Um and that's when it became the Not socialists. Yeah. Yeah. So it was the Thule group first, and, and then there was a big controversy, and, the, and then Hitler came along and changed it. And was the Thule Society still a, a, a society by name after Hitler uh, reorganised the group, company, whatever you want to fucking call it? Wasn't it a company? But it gets quite confusing when you're reading into it because there was like cover names. I suppose and yeah, stuff when like you that. delve into like the, the politics, I suppose mm. yeah. Well, um, yeah. But, I mean, the, obviously there, there is the connection of how the, it, within the uh, Thule society they were interested in racial theory and um, they were against Jewish people and communist people and then after all the controversy with them and then Hitler came along and reorganised it all and then it so happened that that was his interest too, you know, so there is that link but the fact that the Thule Society was um, created and founded and had all its controversy stuff before the Nazis and the Nazi Party and World War Two and all the like terrible stuff that happened after that. You know, it's 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 uh, it's the equivalent to. <sighs> Well, they weren't they are actually the. I suppose, like, because when you say, like, when it. Like. What all then became, like, the Nazis? Like, did it all blend into one big thing and actually all become the Nazis? I don't fucking well, know. Well, there was a bunch. The, the members, the listed members of the Thule Society included a lot of German leaders and, like, you know, big political names. Did you get the names? No. The, uh, there was a whole list of names, I never wrote them down. But uh, a couple of those were linked to the Nazi party and one of them was uh, quite close to Hitler as well um, like one of his advisors and stuff right. um, but a lot of the Nazis that were invited to sp like they were invited to come and speak at the society um, and a lot of the Nazi um, people sympathizers members whatever they they never had any connection at all and then there's author um, Johannes Herring states in one of his books Herring. that there is no evidence that Hitler ever attended the Thule Group, Thule Society. Yeah, yeah, he maybe just kept saying no, he's henchmen and that. Who was it, like Goran or something like that? Or maybe he mean Goebbels, that was his what, propaganda chief? <laughs> maybe, man. I don't know. No, it was a bunch of uh, other names. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it's, it's crazy to me that like something that means something in Greek and Latin mythology and then one group 
took that name because of the meaning and stuff like that. Uh, there'll be loads of shit that's got Thule in the name of it. Yeah. Fucking loads of shit. Mm -hmm. That's going to be everywhere. You can, it, and it's just... And probably, <sighs> particularly in Greece and bloody Italy. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of difficult to try to figure, because I take it, like, now with this change in, like, NASA, you know, fucking changing it. It's not just, like... I don't know, deleting a Facebook status or something, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, does that now mean that it's a bad name? Like, yes, are you, that's apparently. what I mean, are you meant to, are you, are you supposed to dismiss because, Roman, uh, there Greek, was apparently a big outcry. history and geographical exploration and shit, are you meant to dismiss that and all that, the, the mythological name and origins of that, which could have been some fucking dude up in these areas, up the fucking Hebrides and fucking in the Orkney and all that, it could have been, folk thought it was exaggerated, but it would, it would fit, you know, but the thing is, right, so, I had this mad thought that, you know, so it's sort of like, oh, well, that, that word is now associated with the fucking Nazis, it's just, Thul is now the fucking Nazis and everything that even they though fucking it predated, did. even the Thule society predated the Nazi party, yeah, yeah, but even just because that's the idea, that, that now it's controversial because it's associated solely with the fucking Nazis. Like, look at something like the British fucking flag, right? Mm. Fucking hate the British fucking flag, right? I think it's as much a fucking symbol of, like, um, oppression and fucking enslavement than anything else, right? And it's funny because it relates directly, because well, I've thought this for fucking ages, right? The rock, which was studied in the furthest flyby ever conducted by a spacecraft, the furthest fucking bit, it literally just caught through. It makes fucking sense to the fucking mythology that predates the fucking Nazis by two, and like, longer than fucking Jesus, for fuck's sake, right? It will now be known as Arokoth, a Native American term that nah. means sky, right? Yeah. Now hold the fuck on. How many white people did they... Hold on. The uh... fucking... You fly the fucking Union Jack, right? To me it's much like the Confederate flag, and it all kind of links in. The, the Union Jack became a thing in 1801, right? Which was right in the middle. So the fucking... The, 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 the fucking... The, the highest with the fucking epitome of the Atlantic slave train. I think it's epitome. It's epitome. Maybe if it's American, it's epitome. I heard it in like a, a, a metal track somewhere. Someone was like, uh, I think it was Creator or something like that. In fact, it is Creator. They've got a song called, and he pronounces it epitome, but he's German, so. Ah, well, yeah. that Epitome. Yeah. Well, the epitome. I like epitome. It sounds <laughs> epitome. Fuck. Shit. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Right? Slap bang in the middle of the fucking Atlantic trade, right? So in the 16th century, you've got the English, the French, the fucking Spanish, the Netherlands, right? They go and fucking colonise America, right? You've then got the fucking Atlantic fucking slave trade, where you've got our lot shuttling over all these fucking black people, right? Into slavery. They fucking colonise America and take oh, all their fucking... Got to be PC. What, what is the <laughs> right term? I never knew that was not even... What, what were we uh, to say? I don't even know. What is I, it? I don't even if know. If we're quite... Race. What is the, the, the PC term for just a black dude? You can, like, fucking I, simple fucking I black dude. I asked a chick... Darky this. sounds more like fucking... Because, <laughs> like, I've heard folks saying that. Like, people have... Oh, no, like, I've, I've read but something like that. Like, South Park. <laughs> no, like, I'm sure I've read that somewhere like that. Like, dark. Like, dark. But to me, that just... I don't know. It, it all doesn't matter. It's all just fucking, like... To describe to a non fucking racist, it's all just like when you're not using these slurs, obviously just dark or whatever. That's literally I, just I to just describe melanin black. or whatever in the screen, right? I just use black. But I asked, uh, check this once, and she said person of colour. Person of colour? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of language just to say. Black. Aye. I think that's alright. I think it's all right too because I mean we get called white and it's not as if we're it's fucking white. Kind of like the opposite, white, isn't it? You, you know? know. Technically, I'm yellow, but not like Asian yellow. I'm just peely white as fuck. I'm olive. What do they call? What do they call olive skin people? Like Italians and such, and Spanish. Olive. Mm. That sounds all right, does it not? 
makes sense. That kind of dark vinegar. It's got that kind of. I had someone say to me once um, when she found out that I had. Yeah, they're all fucking well tanned in that, aren't they? It's uh, fucking iced in there. Yeah. When she found out that I had Italian in me, she was like, I always thought that you were uh, touched with a tarry brush or what? something like that. Right. I was just like, what? Well, Alright, okay, fair enough. <laughs> touched by a tar brush. Uh, I don't. You're Italian, you're tarred. Like, why? What's her issue fundamentally with Italians? Is she like... Nah, she never had an issue. She was, it's just a figure of speech, but what I never it? took any offence to it. Who said it? It was one of my old managers. <coughs> what did she mean by that then? It's... Was it just a joke to say, like, you're not like... Like, nobody's fucking fully full-blown yin way or the other. Um, and we've all got fucking God uh, knows what we go far enough back. No, nah, I think, I mean, she was just making the point of... Ah, I always figured that you were a bit more canned, oh, right. <laughs> you know. But she just used what is apparently. Smooth on the nose. <laughs> it's apparently like quite a, a derogatory term for Italian people. I don't know, but I never mm -hmm. took any offence to it because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right, right. Back to this, right. So. You colonise, right? You gone over. You, you, you then it's the the fucking slave trade for three hundred fucking years, apparently. Just a quick fucking search, right? They're sending all the the fucking dark skinned black black folk, whatever we're fucking calling them, right? Africans. There's <laughs> African American. They Africans. That's exactly what they were. They're just fucking Africans, right? Yeah. Fucking Africans. They fucking shuttle them all over there into fucking slavery. We can colonise and take our fucking disease and that. We've wiped out hundreds and fucking god knows how fucking many natives, right? The Union fucking Jack becomes a fucking thing, slap bang in the middle of this. Like, when we are literally taking over America and creating America, right? Mm. Somewhere a hundred years before that, Scotland got put into the Union. So, like, I, I don't know if we actually got pooed into it. I've read we got pooed into it, but I suppose anyone that's, like, anti-fucking union could be like, oh, we were pooed into it. I don't know what the fuck happened. I've never looked into it. But in 1707, you had the Axel Union, which was, like, the Kingdom of Scotland, Kingdom in England, or blah, whatever, came together, created Great Britain. That's why we're fucking, we're in that fucking flag. Right? And then in the 1800s, you've got the, Indi the Indian Removal Acts written up in America, which literally pushes... What, what's left of the fucking Indians, right, into this area that they call, like, the Indian Territory, mm -hmm. right? Later on, right, the co it's not that much different to the Confederate flag to me, right? They got on about that as well. I've done a wee bit of quick reading on the, the Confederate. So you've got the American Civil War, 1861 to 1865, right? And it was all an issue about slavery. The fucking slaves that we send over there is called, it's like, it all seems a wee bit hand in hand. And it was today with like um, Abe Lincoln, I was going to say Clinton, Abe Lincoln uh, wanted to abolish slavery and these seven states, their economy, kind of like in Django Unchained, you know the guy with the ranch and he's like, you can't even ride the horse around here. Uh, they kind of cotton farms and whatever relied on like, just like fucking buying slaves and having slaves to make all their fucking money. So then you had like the fucking the American Civil War because these were fighting against it or whatever when the rest of America was like abolishing slavery or something. I don't know. But it's just a bit fucking mental, I thought. But it's all got to do with the... Like the, the, the imagery in words that get connotations. This is what I mean. They've literally given this fucking word, a Native American word. They've named that this fucking asteroid, right? The first thing, the first fucking thing that I thought when I, I heard Ultima Thule is I'm going to Google what that means and mm. I ended up reading about Greek and Roman mythology. Mm. When I read about Arakoth, the first, uh, Arakoth, the first fucking thing I think of, what's that? Native American? I'll Google that. And then you read about what happened to the Native Americans and what continue, continues to fucking still happen. They're still getting pushed out their fucking land. They're still having like these pipelines fucking built through all their shit, right? And it's like, they make a fucking fuss. 
I mean, the Nazis were fucking terrible people, but just because one wee fucking war they're gonna make this fucking, or I'm making a, I'm making, I'm making a fuss for the sake of this conversation, you know. But it's just like this weird fucking word speech. What we're allowed to say, what we're no, what's bad, and it's like we're gonna take that word that makes logical sense in Greek mythology and Latin origin terms, right? But we're gonna bypass all that and and talk about the fucking Nazis, but then we're gonna give it a name that. Basically, I ended up reading about fucking slavery and oppression and Indian natives, you know? Oh, they, and apparently they've got the fucking, like, the, the blessing of, like, actual fucking, what are they called? Um, Paul Hattan, Algonquin or something. They're like, I'm assuming, the uh, tribal church. elders and that. And they're cool with, I don't know, I just think it's a bit of a fucking slap in the face. We're going to take your land, push you in the corner, fucking build a pipe through, fucking murder, we'll kill loads of you through fucking history, fly flags that we fucking create at that fucking time, our fucking world dominance, but then in a hundred years time, we'll say, fuck the Nazis 70 year on, we're going to name this rock after you guys. There you go. Talk about a fucking booby prize. That is my fucking point. Yeah. So now, like, what, through or bad Nazi, it's like, just so fucking, it's the same shit, man. It's like, every other day, that's the same and all. Fucking the Nazis, oh, fuck, Nazi, Nazis. Aye, right, I've got two points, right? Because I, I went along the same train of thought as well. Like, first of all, why are they, why are they taking offence and everything at the Nazi connotations? Because if they're gonna, like, do that, where obviously the Nazis tried to, uh, under Hitler's rule, tried to take over, like, quite a large portion of the world uh, through war and violence and, and just taking things. Um, well, you know, since it has Latin and Greek connotations, should they not maybe just take offence at that, considering Rome took over half the world? That's it, you know? <laughs> it's, just so, it's just so fucking simple and one-dimensional. Yeah. You know, it just, it just smoke screens. That's what I mean, it just... It seems like such a backhanded, transparent gesture to name it and I can't even find anything about that word, apart from literally Native American language translation. Yeah. It's nay nothing to do with Greek fucking gods or philosophy or any of that shit, you can? It, it's nothing. It's just, and it just, it, just, it just seems fucking transparent to me. It's like, really? You can? That, that, that's, that's it? Yeah. Like, and it's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. You can know, I've no fucking read up on it or that. It's like literally one or two things you hear through the fucking years. I don't know, it's maybe all right. I don't have a fucking clue. But after what, what looks like America? four, uh, like for the natives and that, like for uh, the natives. Yeah, and now, wrong, now all like, the like can, like Canada has this whole thing um, where like native Indians, and they only have to be like a sixteenth or something like that, a sixteenth Indian, native Indian, and they're like they get to live tax free. <coughs> They don't, they don't have to pay taxes. And uh, something I can't remember. Blaine told me all this, like. Uh, when we were in Canada, that they, they, they don't have to pay taxes and they get like portions of land given to them and stuff as as a sort of like hundreds of years later. Sorry, pal. Aye. <laughs> you know? Aye, I mean, it kind of sounds like that they should, eh? Kind of like um, on the opposite of what that guy that looks like Adrian on YouTube was saying about the, the moral duty to like have children and, and help up, uphold the society and work ethic that we have thrived through thanks to like our fucking parents and grandparents and ancestors that have helped build this for us to live in it's like shit i lost my train of thought there what was i talking about uh, i was talking about native indians getting to live tax-free yeah it's kind of like the opposite now where like these folk of they, they they were obviously the strongest of the lot they survived they're there after mm. all of that yeah. they're there and it's kind of like they maybe i probably should be fucking given stuff you can't oh just yeah, they also get a grant. You know, they also get like uh, a big lump sum when they reach like, like eighteen or because, something. Because like, like we just like Europe just conquered it mm -hmm. and took it yeah. and have just pushed them into submission. You can. As far as I'm but aware, but they named a fucking like... comet or some shit, a lump of rock in the furthest regions of space. We, we, we. I suppose in the sense that they've now given it a name from them, which is now overtaken um, the idea of just Greek and Roman mythology. That's cool. You know, because I don't fucking think Thule or Nazis, you can. No. It's like, now it's like, 
That's well, I cool. mean, you hear the word Ultima. Like, you know, like, you talk about the Nazis, you're going to end up talking about politics. If someone says to me what fool I'm going to be like, I fucking heard about this. It's this Roman fucking Greek fucking mad shit. And it was an asteroid, but that got changed to the fucking natives. They get all this shit in America now because it used to suck. And they named a fucking asteroid after them and got rid of the Ro Roman Greek fucking shit. Mm. Again, forget fucking mentioning the Nazis. Fuck the Nazis. <laughs> mm. uh, the other thought that I had was... I mean, obviously, there was, like, hundreds of thousands of people that, like, perished and died and were bloody assassinated and everything by the by the Nazi rule and stuff. And, yes, terrible, terrible. Um, but when people were going over and invading America and, like, killing all the uh, Native Americans and the Indians and stuff, how many white people did the Native Americans slaughter and kill? Quite a lot. It's, it's not as if they just submitted and fucking just stood there to die, you know. They they slaughtered thousands yeah. and thousands of Aye. white people. That's what happens when you go fucking travelling, isn't it? It was yeah. the same at, at fucking Lindisfarne when the yeah. Vikings turned up. <laughs> and, and it's the same everywhere. Yeah. They're like, get the fuck out of here. And That's why folk have guard dogs. What happened to Roanoke, you know? I don't know. What is Roanoke? I never fucking ever... I, I know it's in the TV show... Uh, Shorals? <laughs> shows, uh, what is that? American Horror Story? I can't uh, ask for that. Roanoke was uh, one of the first settlements in oh, um, yeah. America. Uh, they went over, they settled, they made this little wee town and everything. Uh, then they ran out of supplies and I think the leader main guy came back to Britain to get more supplies. Obviously, it takes a good long time, and I think something happened while he was back over here. He got caught up, basically, in a bunch of other politics shite. And then by the time he got back to Roanoke, um, like, the entire of the community was just absolutely, like, disappeared with no trace whatsoever. There was, like, dinner plates on tables and stuff. Like, they literally all just vanished. And uh, the only thing... The only thing that he found was a carving on a tree that said, um... We're no common name. No, <laughs> we're no common name. Fuck you, that, uh, What is it, Cro Croatoa? Or oh, Cro yeah, that, I remember that, it was supernatural. Uh, Cro Croatoan. Aye, that one. Yeah. yeah. I can't even um, remember what happens in that episode, I just remember the name, because it was carved on a lamppost and it was geed. Aye. Yeah. Well, that was the only, the only thing that he found uh, was that carved on a tree. Um... So yeah, like what happened there? Did a bunch of uh, native Indians like come in and freaking like gather them all up and slaughter them all and stuff like they did with so many other white people? So basically my point here is, although ratio wise it's a lot fucking different because obviously by the time that it was like, you know, uh, the world population had increased obviously by the Nazi times so obviously there is going to be a higher ratio but the native Indians weren't fucking innocent little bunnies. They fucking slaughtered us. We went there though. What are you? Y yeah, I know. But the point is that, like, like it, you, the, no, the, the, no, the, the, just the just take the just take this at face value, right? Nazis killed people. They're bad. No, we that's, can't. No, no it's just not that simple with the Nazi just thing, take though. it as face value. Just for this one argument, right? Just listen, right? Nazi kills people. That's bad. We can't name this rock after something to do with the Nazis. We'll name it something to do with the Indians, even though they killed people and that's bad. Right, that's my only, that is the only point that I'm making there. Right? Okay. It's just, it's just stupid. It is. It is. The, the, whole, the whole thing staff it, it's such a that's it, it's actually such a non-issue that's the thing yeah it shouldn't even need to be like like in the news like popping up on the fucking I don't even know what was it what is it on the Indi independent. independent so I wonder why it's popping up because I've never seen I don't know if I've seen the independent pop up before it was literally just the NASA thing caught my eye hmm. um, I'm just quickly Refreshing my brain here with um, something. Uh, That's twenty five past twelve already. I know. What is you looking for? Oh, this isn't too bad. This has only been thirty four minutes so far. <laughs> um, I had a feeling it was going to be a lot longer, and that feel like we've been blathering a while. Yeah. 
Yeah, so basically the whole renaming of our goddamn rock um, is, I mean, it just instantly made me think of the German Shepherd Alsatian thing all over again. So uh, German Shepherds were used a lot in World War I um, from both sides. Um, and towards the end of the war and for a few years after, especially leading up to World War II, there was a universal rise in anti-German sentiment and it was felt that the word German in the dog's name, German Shepherd, <laughs> um, could hamper the breed's popularity as a pet throughout the world. That's crazy. So they took, they changed the name because they didn't want it to have German connotations. Uh, so they changed it to Alsatian. <clears throat> um, and that's after the French-German border city of Alsace. Uh, Alsace. Something like that. Uh, well, Give it a wee French, I guess. get a French ac accent. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, in 1925, the Alsace Club ironically reinstated the old name German Shepherd, and the American Kennel Club followed suit. However, the Kennel Club of UK retained Alsatian with German Shepherd in brackets. Uh, and it when, was, when, when was this? This was between the wars. Um, so when, when did they, do, when and who decided, who decided to change the name and when did that happen? Because that's quite mental, because I would think that that would have been taken back, for lack of a better term, by now. You it has like, been taken back, they are German been, Shepherds now. They are German Shepherds yeah. again, I, yeah. <coughs> I was going to say, because to take out, like, to like, to ignore the entire country based on a political party, Mm -hmm. Like everybody forever, like you, so like at least that's been taken back because like that's even that that's extreme. That's I bet. Really fucking obviously, extreme. like you know, it's the anti-German sentiment. It yeah. isn't just anti-Nazi. This is like the yeah. whole. This no, no, is no, that's, the what whole I mean. that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's exactly, <clears throat> exactly what I mean. Um, you can was... literally say everyone in a nation just because of the fact that oh, I well because like the whole war stuff yeah. also now it's you can it's like the whole of Germany is bad it's like I don't think the whole of fucking like every German is mm. bad like yeah but I mean it's Germans just are fucking cool actually obviously this mirrors the the whole thing if they had the fucking German Shepherd and then renamed it because they didn't want any connotations with the war um but it's been, I mean, it got changed in the 70s back to uh, German Shepherd. Um, I mean, aye. Yes. I think it was like in 2000, 2010, the name Alsatian was completely eliminated in all the kennel clubs worldwide. Oh, so now Alsatian's taken out. Like, it's gone. Yeah. Alsatian, uh, yeah. Um, that's when you'll hear people talking about GHDs. No, G <laughs> straighteners. <laughs> GSDs. German Shepherd dogs. Um, what if you were just call an Alsatian? I don't know, because that's a cool name. I know, I still call them Alsatians. It sounds like a car, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I still call them Alsatians. Um, or just Shepherd. I don't know. Shepherd Remember Alex thing. telling me about the. There's like, or there was on YouTube a, a documentary about, I think. The British Hells Angels, probably in London, I imagine, if I am remembering right, there's the Hells Angels. Now, you said that we had to stick directly to the subject here. <laughs> and well, I, I, am, I, I am. I am. <laughs> I am. Because they had a German Shepherd, oh, an yeah, Alsatian, okay. that, if I remember right, they called Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking... Oh, funny. Right, so, basically, between the wars, they changed the name German Shepherd to Alsatian to get rid of the connotations of Germany because of the war because of the war uh, and then um, in the 70s it was all back to German Shepherd 
So then you fast forward like another fucking. Where are we in the in time another 40, limit now? <laughs> Forty-nine years or something. So fifty years later, after they decided, actually, no, it's fine. We can call them German shepherds again. We are now no longer sore about the whole <laughs> German connotation. Let's just stick with the original German shepherd, and we'll just forget that we fucking renamed the entire breed worldwide for a few years. 50 years later, and now people are having a hissy fit about a fucking rock in space that nobody's ever gonna <laughs> fucking see. Are you shitting me? Pete, Basically, um, is my whole opinion <laughs> of this subject. Yeah, well, it is that, isn't it? Again, just a non issue. But, like, I knew you could fucking bang on about it because it's just so silly. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. Mm. But that's the kind of shit that you get in the fucking news. <clears throat> NASA bowing in Nazi, no, anti-Nazi pressure or something. Totally clickbait the title in case like three people see it. Just for the fun of it. Uh, I want to sort of end this with a, Go for a it, quote. I need to find it first. <laughs> who's it? Bye. Uh, it's a surprise. Can you even remember? Yeah. Yeah, is it going to take ages to get it? Hopefully not. Do I need to pause this? Uh, possibly. <laughs> right, okay. Right, you can't find it. What, what was it? South Park's 23.3 years rule. And what was it? What, what do you think? Because I can't remember. I should fucking remember. Uh, I've seen South Park loads. It was that episode that Jared, that Subway oh, right, did, aye. had AIDS. Yep. And they couldn't laugh about it and stuff because it... It hadn't been long enough in oh, time right. yeah, yeah, got you. to be yeah. able to make a mockery and a joke of tragic events. But after 23.3 years, you it's can. It's alright. <laughs> it's definitely been more than 23.3 years since. Yeah, definitely. World War II. Yeah. All that for that. But I thought that there was a big long quote about like why it's 23.3 years. Yeah, there probably is. There I will be. There will there, be. I found the whole fucking transcript of that episode and I couldn't see it. <laughs> that yeah. was why I was scrolling for ages and ages. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Fox. not there. Yeah. Right, well, <sighs> I am done. My. So, basically, a whole non issue that's made an issue, it's in the news, and we can blather for 42 minutes about it and just talk shit. Aye. But, the, but, like, the whole it's point. just so silly. So silly. That's it's just one of the things, it's sort of like on Good Morning Britain and that and they're like, when, when you, they're grilling folk and they're like, why is it such a deal? I just, I don't understand why these things are news. It's like it's all there to hide someone else, surely. It's all bullshit. Mm. Right. Ta-ta anybody that ever fucking hears this. Never. <laughs> <laughs>